Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, I'll punish everyone beside you. Now then, let what? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Damn it! I see! Girl A is probably Mikan Zumiki. <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? Ha! A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? I see! Girl B was short and foul-mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouth? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. I see! Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Let's move on to Girl D. Girl D is my hero. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. I see! Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koi- Hold on! Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong, since you beat the game. You probably know what this actually means, right? I can prove it with this! In the game, Guy F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. <coughs> hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? I see! 
The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Gaev's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the movie. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. Hey, no one cares about that! Huh? What do you mean, Miss- My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! I see! The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E... She, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first-person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later! Then... I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, immediately, they climbed the stairs. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, but the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, 
say, found the victim's body. Because the music room's window was broken, the girl saw the sound of breaking glass that they plus. Girl East, how does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girl E was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But... Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the- Then forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music, you need to go through the entrance. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance, I heard the sound of the window shut. How was she able to get past those four? And wait in front of the mute. She probably used a hit Twilight Hidden Passageway as the world. After she killed the first Vic, what did Girl E do? She just broke the wind and escaped out. So how did Girl E to the front of the music? To go back to the music room, you need to go through the end. Plus, at the end, the other four girls should. At the entrance, I heard the sound of the window shut. No, that's wrong. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom to make them think the murder had just occurred. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Wait a minute! The mystery hasn't been solved yet! Who cares about the murder weapon? Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon, which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! Now then!
What about broken glass? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Damn it! A weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death? Then she attacked her with That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even the investigation conducts you? It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Is there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the... That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that bigger scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had blood stains. Is there a weapon with blood stains? She beat her to death with her fist. A weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with. That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had. Is there a weapon with? She beat her to death with her fist. A weapon inside the music. What about broken glass? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish. That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Damn it! What? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a thing she attacked her with the fish? That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even the investigation? It's on that biggest scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to be it should have had Was there a weapon with she beat her to death with her fist? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a thing she attacked her with the fish tank? That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that big a scale. How about beating her with gravel instead? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken...
will never give up! A weapon in... What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death thing she attacked her? That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with? If it's a weapon that was you, it should have had blood stains. Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had. Was there a weapon? With... She beat her to death with her fist. A weapon inside the. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had. Was there a weapon? With... She beat her to death with her fist. A weapon inside the muse. What about broken glass? Damn it! A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish. That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with? If it's a weapon that was, it should have had blood stains. A weapon inside the muse. What about broken glass? A weapon inside the music room. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the thing. That's too big to bend the piano. Why are you going to the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel and I agree with that. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right! <laughs> Just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! You're not chosen at all! And gravel is impossible! What if the gravel is put inside some sort of bag? A bag? What kind of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the Ace Attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy! But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And... Apparently, the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. 
Tam? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. I might as well ask just in case. I see! It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But... but Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is... I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is a killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? With this, I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You, you better cut that out right now! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And it's true for you, Hiko may look suspicious. But don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you... I mean... There's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. Trap? The true killer played that game, and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for Yuriko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru, and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Kyoko? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? What are you saying, you four? I just accusing me of killing my. Down here. Do you know where Hyoko was? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Hmm. Huh. not the footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you saying... When that person... The door was still accepted, which means something. Oh, I remember now. Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. 
If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> Beach house. But only during my morning walk! I didn't go to Then you didn't meet at the beach house? <laughs> How do you think I met up with her when I never even saw- Is this a panel of idiots? I did go to- But only during my- I didn't go to Then you didn't meet at the beach house? <laughs> I met up with her when I never even saw her? Damn it! I did go to the beach, but only during my. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet at the beach house? <laughs> I'm saying I met up with her. Is this a panel of idiots? I did go to the beach, but only during my morning walk. No, that's wrong! during your morning walk, huh? I see. So Kyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What? That letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Oh, snap. I remember now. I totally saw you! Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. You're wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner for you, Hiko. So you should have seen Yoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. Seriously? I don't know! I, I'm telling the truth! <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house. There's evidence for that, too. where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hiyoka, your favorite candy is gummy. Yeah. What's a gummy? <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hiyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit. But Ryoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof! It's a trap! Who's someone? It must be that one person! You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask! That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice! Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all! Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! Which means... 
legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru! Why you? If you don't blame Miss Sonia, it's just a difference between cultures! Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? It's all in your head! Oh, why can't you understand? Yoko is the city! I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house! <laughs> and weren't you also- So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chip, and afterward you fled from the- At the time, the people stopped by the party! So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance! And that's how you left your footprints! I shall render my verdict, Yoko is the- <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a trap! I shall render my verdict. Piyoko is this. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? And weren't you also? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to. And afterward, you fled from the. At the time, the dark was blocked by the body. I shall render my verdict. Piyoko is the city. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? And weren't you also- So that's when you dropped- No, that's wrong! About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know! It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? The, the gummy at the crime scene is yellow. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Hyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? <sighs> Damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid, I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of that- They're talking about the footprints near the beach? It's true, that's an important- And we can thank Mahi- What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength to lock the door to the road. Thanks to her, we have the evidence- That's why I left those footprints during my morning walk! We're not done with heal. There's still a huge- You're talking about the footprints- It's true, that's him, and we can thank Mahi- What does that mean? Mahiru used her last- No, that's wrong! Mahiru didn't block the door. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! Oh, I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer after all. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled a body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! 
with this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! We haven't decided that yet! Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I could think of. If Hiyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just w the fact that Hyoko was at the beach can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? Damn it! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. I can't back down. <laughs> if Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. Now, washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. Then... Maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on! Are you saying I did something that perverted? Damn it! Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. Which means, Hyoko can't change by herself. Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. I, I didn't smell. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me! If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Because if so... I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I Doubt me, of all people. All right, I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? Yeah. Seems like it. See? I already told you, because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her! Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Hyoko, please don't cry. Shut the hell up, pig barf! I <laughs> I'm sorry for being pig barf! Hey, Hyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? 
Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already. I would like to know too! Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... Damn it! So that was a lie? Cuz I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. Went to the beach house at that time. I can prove it with this. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2:30 p.m. Whoa! The meeting times are off! It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hiyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter! I see! The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. That seems very likely. Confirmed! Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. Like this part, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems there's on this part. The killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding. So they completely tricked me! <laughs> really? I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. It's all my fault. Here we go again. We can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hiyoko? What's most important is what happened afterwards. <laughs> I fell asleep! Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? I thought that place seemed unsafe. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. Please! Uh, I'm sorry! When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiru's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. I was really, really scared. <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Uh, everything was done to frame Hiyoko as the killer. <laughs> That's horrible! <laughs> Hiyoko, please do not cry. <laughs> Is it really okay to believe her so easily? This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. 
The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Seriously, which side are you on? I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying. Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate job. That's the right way. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? Whoa, whoa. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. The only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. when you're surprised. 